everybody. All right, it is 9.45 on Friday as I'm talking to you, uh, and we're doing mailbag today. We're doing it a day early uh, for reasons that I will get into, but uh, meanwhile, I'm just going to bring this stuff in. Now, uh, we are going to replay the mailbag tomorrow, so if you are watching this on Saturday, uh, just keep in mind that the action starts at 10 o'clock. You can watch, but this is sort of the pre-game show. So if you're just in it for the mailbag, come back at 10. Right. Now is the time when our little postal inspectors are going to inspect all the packages. And then, like I said, uh, 10 o'clock, I'll be back and we will get started. So, uh,
room for me. All right. Hello, YouTubers. And uh, hello to myself, since we're going to be replaying this tomorrow as I think we're going to use this new feature on YouTube called Premieres. And that means that we can watch a video with you and even though it's a video, I think we get the live chat like we would if it was a stream. So we can all chat together and uh, enjoy the mailbag together at the regular time. And for a fun change, I'll get to watch it with you. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm kind of looking forward to that. I think just like everybody in the world, I hate listening to myself record it. It's the worst. Um, but I know everybody feels that way. So you just got to, you know, swallow it uh, and deal with it, really. Uh, it is what it is. So, all right, let's check some camera angles here. I'm going to back up just a little bit so you're not seeing so much of the back of my head. There we go. Yeah, that's not bad, I guess. Probably as good as it's going to get. And uh, as usual, uh, we're going to start the mailbag with a little bit of news. First off, let me say, if I know Friday is unusual. We normally do the mailbag on Saturday morning. I know there's a lot of you that have Kitten Academy on in your office all the time. So let me just address you guys for a minute and say, uh, you should turn your volume down. Nobody wants to listen to me going on while they're in their office. Um, and if you want to watch the mailbag, do it tomorrow. Um, but I am going to be talking for the next probably hour straight, maybe a little bit longer than an hour. And uh, nobody in your office wants to listen to that. So just turn the volume. Uh, the rest of you, thank you for joining me on Friday for an unusually timed mailbag, or uh, I'm talking probably to a lot of you on Saturday, too, like I said, so uh, that should be interesting. Okay, uh, news-wise, um, the reason we are doing this is twofold. Um, first off, there is a bunch of stuff in here that is for these kids, and some of these kids are getting adopted before the regular mailbag time tomorrow. So by the time that the replay rolls around tomorrow morning uh, at 10 o'clock, Stu is already going to be gone. Uh, I think he's getting picked up at 8 o'clock. And uh, I want to—I have to check the schedule. I want to say Ace is also going tomorrow morning, um, maybe around mailbag time. i, I, I got to check. Um, I'm sorry for coming in unprepared, but that's the basic idea. Uh, on top of that, because some of those adoptions are before mailbag, I'm worried that if they run over, I wouldn't be able to, to do mailbag at the usual time anyway. So, um, so uh, yeah, if I wasn't clear on the first reason, it's some of this stuff is for them. I need to make sure we've got it unpacked and we've got it in their endowments before they go, right? Uh, and I can't do that if we unpack it after they're already gone. <laughs> um, so that's, that's why we're doing it a day early. Now, we're also... Uh, I've been talking to DJ, and she has been saying that it might be good for us to move the mail back uh, permanently, not to Friday, but she was thinking to Sunday. And the reason that we might end up moving it to Sunday is because she has the free clinic that she volunteers at. Uh, she does her medical stuff at a, at a free clinic. Um, 
which I'm surprised, you know, in this day of age, uh, day and age, we're supposed to have the, the universal health care. And I don't want to make this political, but I, I thought we actually kind of did. Like, I thought everybody at least had some kind of medical insurance, but there's still a place for a free clinic. It still gets plenty of people that come in there needing the free health care. And so uh, DJ volunteers some of her time there on usually when that happens, it's on a Saturday. So she thought she would be more available for the mailbag generally um, if we moved it to Sunday. And I'm all for that because I think mailbag is a lot more fun when she's here personally. So uh, I would definitely like to see more of that myself. And so uh, we'll talk about that more. Uh, you know, if we're going to do it, it wouldn't be um, until next week or maybe until we get back from India, which, <coughs> excuse me, is another important point of business. As you know, uh, DJ and I are going on our Christmas vacation. We go on vacation about once every two years. Now, we don't go on vacation every year, but it's more like every two years. And it has been two years now, and so we're due, and we are going to go visit her parents uh, in India um, and the rest of her family in India. And we're going to be gone for about two weeks. We're going to leave late on December 17th. We're going to be back around January 3rd. And during that time that we're gone, uh, Jimmy D is going to be managing everything Kitten Academy. So uh, I don't know if he'll do mailbag. We'll tell him if he wants to do mailbag, he can do it. And uh, if he doesn't want to do it, he doesn't have to do it. All up to him. So that'll be his decision to make. Uh, same thing for close-up streams. If he wants to do close-up streams, he can do them. If he doesn't, he doesn't have to. Uh, we'll find out. There will be some kittens here, though. Uh, there's uh, at least a couple of these guys that aren't getting picked up until after we get back, and there may be uh, a couple more, too. I, we don't know about book and verse right now or what's going to happen with book or verse. So they could just uh, end up being here for all we know. Uh, I think that's it for the news. And uh, as always, if I think of anything else, I'll just mention it as we go along. Okay, uh, some of you, because we're doing this on an unusual day, uh, may have never seen this before, but we do have sort of a regular way that we do it, and the first piece of that is uh, opening the letters that we have here. So I'm going to start with those in my letter opener. Hang on, you kids. Oh, I know. I know. You just want to get in here. Okay. Here we have a letter from a regular correspondent, Mr. Elso Cat and his owner, Michelle. And we've got a bunch of little angels with animals here, on the cherubs, I guess, on the back, which is very cute. And celebrate the season. Okay. Oh, this is, both are good. It looks like we've got uh, some, oh, I see. This is uh, for a church, um, what do you call it, where they print the, uh, what's going to happen at the, uh, the schedule. The, there's a name for it. It's not coming to my mind. Oh, boy, I think I get the joke there. I think you got to have a southern accent to tell it right. Okay, I'll try it. Um, I'm not going to do the southern accent, but you're just going to have to do your best. Oh, and I see it even starts. Okay. Um so there's a joke on the back of this church flyer. It says, in a small southern town, there was a nativity scene that showed great skill and talent had gone into creating it. One small feature bothered me. The three wise men were wearing firemen's helmets. Totally unable to come up with a reason or explanation, I left. At a quick stop on the edge of town, I asked the lady behind the counter about the helmet. She exploded into a rage, yelling at me, you Yankees never do read the Bible. I assured her I did, but simply couldn't recall anything about firemen in the Bible. She jerked her Bible from behind the counter and ruffled through some pages and finally jabbed her finger at a passage. Sticking in my face, she said, see, it says right here, the wise men came from afar. Afar. A a, uh, see, I can't do it. I can't do the accent. I tried, though. I tried, and that's worth it. All right, here we have a little card. It says, celebrate the season. Love to you both and to all the cats and wonder dog. Love and light, Michelle and Elso Cat. Thank you so much, uh, Michelle and Elso Cat. I really appreciate that. And I like the joke, even if I couldn't tell it. Um, sorry, I tried. Okay, you guys, come on now. You don't have to be digging in here. You don't, you really don't. You've got so many other things you could be playing with. All right, here we have a letter for Mr. Kitten Academy. Yes, that's me. It 
It says, Mr. A, be cool this Christmas. That's cute. It's even, it's printed. Mr. A, be cool this Christmas. Mr. A, happy holidays to you. And Smokey, Acro, Eddie, Loganberry, Maggie, Ari, Custard, Elsie, all the tinies, and Verse. Thanks for all you do for the tinies, mom, cats, and us. From Nivik Arts on Discord. Thank you, Nivik Arts. I like that. I love the cat wearing the glasses. That's that's pretty cool, actually. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Here we have, oh, the, this is a letter from the Northeast Animal Shelter in Salem, Massachusetts. Let's see what that's about. Northeast Animal Shelter. Aw. Hello, Mr. A and DJ. I'm making a donation locally in Kitten Academy's name to the Northeast Animal Shelter. I'm so happy to be adopting Stu and wanted to make sure I helped out animals in my area as well. Thanks again, Dawn. That's so sweet. Dawn, thank you so much. I, as I've always said, we really appreciate it when people make contributions to their local animal shelters because that's very important. And... Uh, and how cool that you're adopting Stu. So I guess we will be seeing you tomorrow morning. You're part of the reason that we're doing this on Friday. So that's a timely letter, Don. Thank you very much. All right, here we have a letter with a Christmas stamp. It's all red. I'm expecting something very Christmassy inside this one. And it is very Christmassy. Look at that. Oh, this is so cute. It looks like it's uh, colored in multiple media. I see some crayon and what looks like some pen, and maybe even some paint, hand colored for you by Diane Smith. Look at that. That's very cool. And inside it says, Merry Christmas. Mr. A, DJ, faculty, staff, and kittens have a wonderful Christmas. Diana from Colorado. P.S. Glad you like your new mailbag box. I'm not the only one. Uh, these guys love it because they can open it themselves. If we push it right open, if I don't lock it shut. And just stop chewing on that. Okay. Uh, Diane, thank you so much. That's, that's, uh, that's a really cute card, and I like that a lot. Okay. Moving right along, here we have one that says, okay to read on screen, and it's got all of these uh, little stickers on the back that are also wintry themed. And uh, I always love it when it says, okay, to read on the stream. Uh, we assume it, that that is okay, unless you say otherwise. But it just makes me feel a little better to know that whoever sent it knows for sure that I'm going to be reading it on the air. And here we have a really silvery wreath with an actual bow on it. This is a real bow. And on the inside it says, to all the people and cats at Kitten Academy. Uh, and then the card says, joy to your world, love in your home, peace within your heart. May the most meaningful gifts of the Christmas season be yours. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. A donation was made in your honor to a local rescue group. From Sherry, who is Sherry Inc. 2, uh, Sherry, I, Sher, S H E R I N C 2 on Discord. Sherry, thank you so much. Again, I just, I think that's a wonderful thing, and especially now at Christmas. Uh, when it is a time of giving for so many people, to, to give to your local shelter is really a blessing for them. And when you do it this way and send us the letter about it, it is a blessing for us as well. All right, you just broke this toy that you're all trying to get in there and play with. So now I can just put it right in the trash. What do you think about that? Is that what you wanted? Is it, huh? Uh, let me do that, actually, so that they don't grab this string or anything. One second. You guys don't have to look at my crack. Oh, okay. Look out, kitties. All right. Nice and careful. Okay. Okay. Got another letter here. This, <laughs> oh, excuse me. This one is addressed to Mr. Ari Academy. I believe this may be a letter for Ari. It says, Meowie Christmas. That is a beautiful little tuxie. And it says, <laughs> this is great. Mr. A, DJ, faculty, verse, and tinies, happy meowy Christmas. Thanks for all you do. From massive KA fans, Mavis, Ian, Amanda, K, 
Kevin and Chloe the cat, who is the, the cat on the card. Chloe the cat. Thank you guys so much. That is a very cool card, too. I like it. Thank you so much for sending that. And uh, Chloe the cat is just beautiful. I love a tuxie. Very pretty. Okay. Moving right along. Happy holidays. Uh, <laughs> so cute. With love from Andy, Bob, and Hannah Banana. So cute. Oh, well, there's nothing on the back there. It's just a picture of them, but that's awesome. And I love that Hannah Banana is featured on their 2018 holiday card. That, that really warms my heart because um, when you do that, you know that that cat is just a, a wonderfully special part of their lives, just like she was a special part of our life. And in Hannah Banana's case, just like she was a part of Carrie's life. So there's a lot of people that really care about Hannah. And it's so sweet when, when they turn up on the Christmas card like that. I think that's wonderful. Thank you for sending that. Okay, this one I'm not going to open because this one says, Attention Candy at the Fox Lake Postal Office, care of our address, um, which is probably the right way to send it. Um, but... Uh, obviously, the postal people are going to do their job and put it in our box, even if, though they see attention candy. Um, that is surely a letter for uh, our favorite postal worker, Candy, at the Fox Lake Postal Office. Um, I've mentioned her plenty of times. She's our postal celebrity, along with the postmaster at the Fox Lake Post Office, whose name is Kevin. Uh, candy was telling me last time I was in there and saw her that she had to take a couple of weeks off and uh, without going into details, her husband is uh, having some health issues. And I'm sure that this is someone who is writing to her to, to give her well wishes, which is super, super sweet of you. And I know when I drop this off, even if she's not there, I know Kevin will get in touch with her and let her know this is her mail waiting for her there. So I'm sure she'll stop by and pick that up. That is really, really sweet of whoever did that. Thank you so much. That, it's just Kid Academy people are so thoughtful, and I, I just I can't tell you how much it means to me, and I'm sure that Candy will, will be super touched by that. Thank you so much. Um, okay, <laughs> cat treadmills. Uh, here we've got a picture of some cats at the gym, and it's, uh, it's just toilet paper rolls that they can sit there and shred. That's a good workout. I like it. TJ and Mr. A, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you for all you do for mom cats and their kids. Uh, signed, uh, is it Rendelden on Discord chat, I think? Uh, I, I hope I'm getting that right. It seems to be R-I-N-D-A-L-Y-N-N -N on Discord chat. Thank you so much for sending that. And I love that <laughs> cat treadmill. Very cute. Okay. So uh, now we're on to packages, and we don't have any particular order for this, so we are just going to dive right in. Um, yeah, okay. Let me switch out my letter opener for a box opener. And I got Ace, little Ace buddy. Is that a comfortable way to sleep? How come cats never get stiff necks from sleeping in funny positions? Here we've got uh, our coffee mug with Elsie on it. That was from Mia Cat, and it's very special to me. In fact, as you know, we're, we're doing um, a remodeling in our kitchen right now, and uh, I wish we'd done it sooner so that we could enjoy it, but we're really doing it so we can sell the house. Uh, the real estate agent and everybody else told us we had to, and I had to pick out one coffee mug to keep out of the boxes uh, and, and live with uh, for the next several weeks, and this is the one that I chose, a little Elsie mug. Thank you for that, Mia Cat. All right, uh, let's. I oh, you stole my knife. I was just about to blame myself for losing it, but I see it wasn't my fault. Okay, and here we start with a letter. I love this. This is uh, 
so this is sealed. The, the box has a little, uh, one of those 3D puppy stickers on it of a cat. And so does the letter. It's got a little puppy sticker of a cat. And... Aw, it's Crabapple. Look at that. Mr. A and DJ, in order of Crabby, Larch, and Junies and Dushin anniversaries, 1028 for Crabby and Larch and 12-2 for Junie, we're sending you a collection of their favorite toys to share with future Kitten Academy alumni. Thank you for being such loving, caring, and generous fosters. Say hi to Maggie and the rest of the faculty for us. We hope to see you all again someday. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and safe and happy trip to India. Love, Jay, Leslie, Jenny, Christy, uh, Caitlin, Chrissy, sorry, Caitlin, Michael, Cole, Cinder, Crabapple, Larch, Junie, and Fender. Wow, that is a great family. And I love that you've made this beautiful card. What a great photo of Crabapple. And then on the back, the card has another picture of Crabby and a paw print. Would you look at that? That's a wonderful card. That's great. I don't know if we're the only one that got this card. It seems so well produced. Uh, it almost seems like this might be a card that they would send out to everybody, like all their friends and family. But it's a beautifully made card. I love the way you've laid it out. And with the little spot here for the paw print, it's so cute. Thank you so much for that. That is super, super awesome. And then you say you sent some of their favorite toys. So, all right, this I'm putting in my lap because you guys are going to lose this. Oh, my goodness. This looks like a pretty good collection. Okay. So, uh, first off, we have Real Fur Mice, and these guy things are always such a big hit. Uh, this is one of the things that Fable uh, really likes, in addition to her special ball. Uh, she, she gets into these quite a bit. So, uh, it's too late for us to send one to her, of course, but um, I bet these guys would like one. I should, I should give them one to test out and see what they think of a Real Fur Ball. I feel like they would really get into it. What do you guys think? Anyway, uh, very, very cool. Uh, here we have Springs, always a hit, and Mylar Balls, which are also always a big hit. The Skinny Mouse, another classic. The Yao Catnip Banana. I'm not positive, but I, this one really looks like it might have been sampled through the bag. Uh, you guys tell me, but I, I feel pretty confident that one of the Panther crew got in here and tested it. Uh, so that's fine. Quality assurance, right? That's good. Okay. Here we have something that says, oh, pet candy. It says it's squirrel. Uh, I'm skeptical of whether I would call this thing a squirrel. But it is a cute little catnip kicker with a tail and some eyes on the end. I like it a lot. Super cute, in fact. <laughs> Wise has taken that fur ball and is carrying it around the room now, so I can see that was an instant hit. <laughs> Wise. Okay. Um, there's more. Here we have two Kitten Academy uh, branded. Um, uh, uh, catnip mats, I guess you would call them. These are from our friend Dragon Maker, who I saw some boxes from in today's mailbag, so I think we can get more into the story of these soon. But suffice to say, they are filled with catnip, and they are very popular. Um, I don't just say that because they've got our logo on it. I say it because the cats love them. And then we have a big handful of assorted toys, including Charlie Balls and cute little mice. I, this is purple colors. Totally awesome, purple and white. And finally, uh, four little jingle bells. And a book, bookworm. Hey, bookworm, what are you doing in there? So awesome. Thank you guys so much for this. This is a great collection of, as you say, the best, favoritest cat toys. That's all the really good stuff in one. Thank you so much for sending that. And obviously, you sent plenty of tissue paper, which is another favorite cat toy. I got to put some of it away, um, but I'll leave those pieces out, I guess. Oh, thank you very, very much. That is awesome. 
I, also, I don't know if this just happened here or if it came this way, but uh, there's also somebody sampled that box a little bit. All right. I'm going to set that over here. I'm going to take a break for just half a second and check to make sure that these camera angles are working still and uh, nobody's complaining about anything. I think everything looks right. Okay, uh, let's open this. I'm, I know what this is already. And on the outside, it says, Kitten Academy is where you want to be when you are a cat. Oh, no. I forgot to buy the mailbag jingle. Can I do it now? Is it too late for me to do it? I'm going to do it now. Okay, I'm so, I can't believe I forgot to do that. Oh, boy. That, and there's a reminder right there. Crying out loud, people. Okay. Half an hour late, but who's counting? Here we go. Kitten Academy, where you want to be when you are a cat. On a Saturday, they can pounce play time for the mailbag. All right. Hey, better late than never, am I right? I'm right. Of course I'm right. And then on the other side of the box, it says, hi, Candy. Uh, that's super sweet, too. And uh, as uh, I said, I'm pretty sure I know what's in this. It says, to Kitten Academy, uh, Ace. It says it is to Ace at the Kitten Academy. And it is from, let's see if there's a note. There's not a note, but we know what this is about. This is uh, one of Lily Cat's blankets. Lily Cat makes a blanket for uh, every graduate of Kitten Academy. And this is a special blanket, you know, each one different, each one specially for that cat. And this is the one for Ace. Oh my goodness, this is bold. I really like it. I, uh, wow. These are some great colors. And I love this thing that has the, the multicolored gray, white, and black. That's beautiful. This is just gorgeous. And uh, Ace can't be bothered because he is wrestling with Rudy right now. But I just, I love being able to give these to the adopters because they're so special. Thank you so much, Lily Cat. That is just, it's really sweet of you. So I'm going to put that back and we'll make sure that that goes into Ace's endowment, which uh, I have to start putting those together today. That's going to be a giant project eight endowments for eight kittens and a mom cat that's a lot of endowments uh i'm just gonna write really big on this so that it, it's obvious to me later on ace 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 okay good thank you so much lily cat that is great well, oh, my nose is itchy for some reason. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Here we have here we have a letter that says, Hi Candy. It says ship to the well versed family at Kitten Academy. And it says here there is a tear strip. I'm a tear strip. Put me to my designated use, please. No knife necessary. Uh, okay. Open other end with tear strip, please. Okay, well I can follow directions. There we go. Oh, my goodness, I know what these are. Of course I know what these are. Look at that. A whole bunch of noodle sticks, which are great. And there's a note. And each one of these has, uh, oh, almost each one of these. I guess there's a couple of extras. These are unlabeled. Uh, so is this one. But then the rest of them have names on them and say, uh, Prodigy, Poise, Astute, Ace, Erudite. Verse, wise, bookworm, flare. And then on the back side of the cards, they say lovingly handmade for you by Janice C. Look at how great those are. 
Thank you so much, Janice. I'm going to let these guys show how cool these are. These noodle sticks are so fun. I have one that I made for these guys uh, to play with in the room that has two ends on it so that one of them can grab it and drag it across the room and the other one will chase to get the open end. I think it's fun. Anyway, these are great, great, great toys. And uh, you can't buy these anywhere as far as I know. You've got to make your own. They're not that hard to make, which is good, um, but uh, they're just a great cat toy. They're really fantastic. And whoever came up with this idea originally was brilliant. Somebody sent us a whole bunch of them that they found at their local cat shelter, and ever since then, uh, everybody has just been clamoring for them because they're fantastic. All right, this says, this note certified safe for reading on air. I like that, and I like you put on air in quotes. You know, since we don't go out on the air, uh, we're all wired here. <laughs> this is a very cute card. It's got a lady reading a newspaper with a cat sitting on her head. And on the back it says, you're on my mind today. It's also cute. Oh, and it also says that on the inside, you're on my mind today. Actually, you're on my mind every day, and I'm ever grateful for that. Love, Janice. Well, thank you so much, Janice. And you've written us a note, which uh, is on some beautiful letterhead. I don't know what this little pattern is, but it's really cool. Uh, oh, it says, I designed and printed this letterhead in my graphic arts class in high school before computer graphics was a thing. Wow. Well, it, it sort of reminds me, I was going to say Frank Lloyd Wright, because it's sort of abstract shapes, but uh, like highly uh, geometrical. Like, like the, you know, you'd see that he would do the the really straight lines in, in patterns, but it's also not that at all. It's very unique. Uh, here, let me show it to you guys. This little pattern in the corner. Very cool, right? Okay, let me take this away before you guys get it somewhere. Okay, it says, Dear Mr. A and DJ, once again, I'm so thankful that you've opened your hearts and homes to those cats and kittens, and also, too, well, so, Wilso, W-L-S-O-E. I don't actually know how to pronounce that. That's uh, one of the typos for Elsie that's become common on the Discord chat. Now it says, okay, those cats and kittens in LC2, lucky enough to attend or reside permanently in Kitten Academy. You've created the bestest place on the internet, and I'm grateful every day for that. I'm also grateful that Verse had her final litter of adorable kittens on a schedule that allowed me to watch it unfold live for the first time. In closed, you will find the very first batch of noodle sticks that I made myself. I color-coded the names on the tags just in case they came off, since not all of this group already had associated colors. Shout out to Dr. Tiff and everyone else in the Arts and Crafts channel for trying to help me put names right on the sticks, but in the end, I couldn't make it work to my satisfaction. Oh, put names right on the sticks. I see. I hope these toys bring many hours of joyful play to Mama Verse and her amazing kittens and their abduders. I've also included the last few noodle sticks that I bought at my Animal Rescue Foundation before they ran out and I started making my own. I thought you could stash them throughout the house or give them to other On Angels Wings fosters. Speaking of On Angels Wings, do you think they would like a batch of noodle sticks to sell to folks aduding at their store or to hand out to fosters? I suppose I could ask them myself, but here I am writing the question to you. Love Janice, who is Janice C on Discord. Janice C, thank you so much. Uh, as I was just saying, and I guess it was you that took the first batch of noodle sticks, those things have just been a huge success. And um, we have now gone through them all, but I did buy some sticks and some of the little rubber tubing, and I've been making my own. Um, and I guess I kind of got ahead of myself there because now you've sent yours too. So I do think that uh, people should be able to buy these somewhere. And uh, I think if you wanted to start selling them online, I would direct everybody in the world to wherever you were doing that. Um, or if you want to send some to On Angel's Wings, I'm sure they would love to sell them or give them to their, their fosters and adopters as well. I just, I think this is, I, I've said this a few times now, I just, I think they are the most clever and simple and wonderful cat toy that the cats just love these things. So all of them do. The faculty loves them. The kittens love them. I haven't found a kitten yet, a cat yet, that doesn't love these things. So 
so yeah, I, I fully support in any way that you want. And again, uh, if you just want to let me know what you're going to do, and if you decide to, like I said, to sell them online, uh, I will send everybody your way because they are awesome. Thank you so much for sending one for everybody in this class. I was just going to have to make my own for them today. I was thinking about doing that, and now you have saved me all of that uh, trouble. So uh, thank you for doing that. That's just really sweet of you, and I greatly appreciate it. Oh, what was that? You got a little sneezies? All right. Let's see what we got next here. Here we have one where the... The post-it notes that I use to cover up the address are coming off. Whatever. I'm just trying to hide that a little bit. This is addressed to Verse and the Verselets, chair of Kitten Academy. And inside we have a note for Verse and the Verselets. Take a look here. <laughs> this is so cute. It says, I did buy with a little help from my friends, and it is a picture of a woman sitting in a chair with, uh, I don't know, a dozen cats all around her house. So cute. And inside it says, Dear Verse, thank you for being such a wonderful mom. You kept stands a meter and prose safe and healthy until they made it to Kitten Academy. Plus, you're so loving to the verselets, I'm glad that you're going to a forever home with Sweet Book, where I'm sure you'll both be well-loved. Um, and, dear wise prodigy Stu, Ace, Book, Flair, Rudy, and Poise, not only do all of you have your mama's good looks with her beautiful eyes, but you're also getting a stellar Kitten Academy education. You'll go far. I'm looking forward to following your further adventures with some adoring humans. Enclosed are some catnip toys for you to enjoy and destroy as you like your adoring fan, Lena. Um, so let me uh, let me say, I'm sure Lena realizes this. This was probably written before we found out that uh, the adopter for book and verse did have to uh, drop out of that adoption, which is fine. Uh, you know, I say this every time. A lot of times it seems like it's meant to be. Uh, every time that that's happened in the past, which is not unusual, uh, they've gone to somebody that has just really appreciated the fact that they got a second chance at adopting that the wonderful kitten that they wanted. So, uh, as you know. Um, oh, my goodness. Well, this is not exactly what I expected, though. This is so cool. These are not just generic catnip toys. Each one of these is labeled specially for the cat that it's for. Look at this. This one's for Stu. This one is for Verse. They're all embroidered. Isn't that great? And for Prodigy. That's just so cute. Oh, my gosh. Lena, this is so fantastic. I love these. And they're really, really cute, too. And you've sent one for each. This is so sweet of you. And it says that they are from, uh, made by, I should say, Crazy for Craft, who is Susan Frost at Crazy for Craft. That's crazy with a K, K-R-A-Z-Y, the number four, K-R-A-F-T-S, uh, dot com, who is also on Etsy by the same name. Uh, Lena, thank you so much for sending these. That is just amazing. I'm so glad that we got these open in time to go home with uh, the ones that are going home tomorrow. Just, just wonderful. Wow. Thank you so much. I love these colors and the fish and their silly faces. That's just, that's just fantastic. I, I honestly, I don't know what to say. Except not to show everybody your address. Wow. We try not to do that. I'm sorry if we ever do. Okay. Well, we got a lot to get through, so I'm just going to keep right on trucking. What? Oh, I didn't cut that quite right. Okay, I'm going to try it again. Good. Now, okay, I'll put this in my lap so you don't steal it. I see you trying to steal 
Dracula at night. Hi, Mr. A and DJ. I hope the well-versed kittens enjoy their first holidays with their forever families. Each kitten can take home the ornament that reflects their time at the Kitten Academy. Thanks again for everything you do for mom cats and their babies. Love, Sonia and Rich, who are Breadstick Grady on the Discord chat. That's uh, just like it sounds, Breadstick Grady. And also Annie and Cam with their little paw prints. That's so cute. Um, okay, let's see. Aw, these are adorable. Each one, each one is a little cat, and I think some of them look like they are intended uh, to, for particular cats. I mean, you say they can each take which one reflects them best, but I think you had some particular kittens in mind because here we have an orange cat with a green collar. Here we have an orange cat with a blue collar. Here we have an orange cat with a red collar. And here we have an orange cat with a white collar. Now... I'm not a rocket surgeon, but I think I can figure out who these four are supposed to be. Then uh, we also have, let's see. Uh, here we've got a white cat with a little bit of calico coloring. I can guess who that is. And here we have a, a white and gray kitten. I can guess who that is. Uh, we also have... <laughs> Let's see. We also have two calicos, one with a pink collar and one with a black collar. I think we all can guess who those are. And finally, a uncolored, uh, sort of a um, uh, uh, Rudy style kitten I'm going to go with, uh, not to give away the game. These are awesome. They're so great. I love how you're just like, each kitten can take the one that best reflects their time at the academy when you've actually made one for each kitten and they, they really look like who they are. They're so wonderful. These are so cute. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. That is just really wonderfully sweet of you. And I'm excited to put those into their endowment bags because I know that their adopters are going to love them. Even if some of them go home after Christmas, those will still be super special next year. And I don't know where I put my pen. I wanted to label this, but under here, did these guys steal it? It didn't go back in the box. So you did steal it. This is my pen. Mind your own business. All verse. Okay. Good. Uh, good. I'm running out of room to stack things behind me, but that's okay. We'll figure this out as we always do. Okay, this is another box I'm not going to open. This one is addressed to Jimmy D and Jenny and Winnie and Gary. So I will pass this right along to them. How sweet of you guys to send something for them, though? I believe this is from Hell's Dells. Yes, I believe it is from Hell's Dells on the chat. So thank you, Hell's Dells. I also believe these guys are moving the camera. Guys, am I still even on the camera? What are you doing? Let me check. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, good. Uh, all right, let's uh, move right along. This is also from Hell's Dells, I think, and it's very shiny. I love these, these, uh, these shipping container things. Very cool. Hi, Ace. Hey, buddy. Okay. This is some Space Age shipping box material. Okay, wow. Oh, no, this is full of my greatest weakness, candy. Oh, oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see. Is there a note? Kind of. There is a note right here. There we go. Okay. The note says, to DJ and Mr. A, faculty, mom, cats, and kittens, happy early Christmas. Here are some Christmas toys for the kitten room and a tiny bit of chocolate. Love, Helen, who is Hell's Dells, and also Jasper and Jimbo. 
thank you so much for sending this. This is some really cute stuff. So first off, the important things, we've got some uh, very uh, British or European chocolates, I guess. And we have Malteser reindeers. Malteser reindeers. Those are great. TJ really loves the Maltesers, the malted milk chocolate stuff. Um, chocolate covered malted milk. I love it too, I should say. I, I am a fan, but DJ uh, has few things that she really loves, and that's one of them. And then we also have a Cadbury Dairy Milk Snowman. It says Chocolate Mousse Snowman. Wow, we got two of those also. That looks like some really good stuff. Plus, we have a shaking, festive shaking reindeer. Oh, I see. I pulled the tab, and then, and then it shakes. What do you think of that? A little interesting. And then we have a Kong active rattle sound ball with a tail. Oh, that rattle sound gets them. Okay. And finally, we have Cupid and Comet. It says Cupid and Comet, although uh, one of these is clearly a reindeer and one of these is clearly Santa Claus. So I'm skeptical of, of it being Cupid and Comet. Maybe that's a brand name I'm not familiar with. I don't know. Seems like a strange coincidence, though. So there we have it. Uh, a reindeer and a Santa Claus. And Santa really looks like he's upset about something. I don't know. Maybe about being called Comet. All right. Helen, Hell Dells, thank you so much for sending this stuff. It is fantastic. These are some really cute toys. Um, and that chocolate is not going to go to waste, unfortunately. It will get consumed by me. You know, probably sooner rather than later. But I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. That stuff does it. looks really good. I had breakfast this morning. I still want to eat it right now. Oh, I'm a terrible person. Okay. Thank you, Helen. Uh, let's see. I want a box that I can start to put some of this stuff in. Some of this old packing material and things. You have to clean up. I don't know. Any box is as likely as any other, so we'll just keep going. Let's see. All right. I know what this is. This, <laughs> this is a cat that looks like it is purring and sleeping and smiling. Also, it says, hi, Candy. Hi, Fox Lake Post Office. And we know exactly what's in this box. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know exactly what's in this box. Let's find out together. Oh, my goodness. Well, I think we all knew what was in this box, but I don't think we all knew how much of this was in this box. Look at this. My goodness. So uh, <laughs> these are the same Kitten Academy uh, cat uh, mat toy things. I don't, I don't know what you call these because um, they're based on uh, Sleeping Dragon South, uh, a Dragon Maker. If you look up Dragon Maker, it's an M-A-K-R, no E, Dragon Maker on Etsy makes dragon wings made of catnip that are just like this, but they're, they're clearly dragon wings. And they are fantastic cat toys. But for K.A. Khan, uh, she started making ones that were Kitten Academy branded like these are. So I don't, I, I think they call them catnip tickers. And it was spelled K-A-T, uh, like K-A, like Kitten Academy. Um, and they are the same thing as the dragon wings, but obviously branded for us. And she said that she wanted to give us a donation for the ones that she had sold. And I said, well, rather than send us a donation, just take that and put it into sending us some of the catnip pickers so that we can distribute them to uh, people that adopt or to our own cats or even to On Angel's Wings. Apparently, she has done that. And <laughs> there was apparently quite a bit of profit from that because we've got a ton of these now, and these are going to see us through for quite a while. So thank you so much, Dragon Maker. I really appreciate that. I'm going to, I think there's already one flying around this room somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's over by the litter boxes. 
I might as well put down another while we've got this open, though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's just, it's really wonderful of you to, uh, wonderful of you to contribute to us in that way. And uh, I, I just, everybody's going to appreciate these. And I'm going to give a couple out to the faculty. I think it's been a little while since they've had one of your dragon wings. And uh, they're really going to appreciate that. So I'll throw some. Uh, if you guys, if anybody who's watching is on our Patreon for a dollar a month and therefore on our Discord chat that the, being a Patreon gets you into, uh, you know that we're currently running a live stream, an alternative live stream that covers various cameras around the house. That's something that we do on a regular basis. Uh, it's sort of like Big Brother. Like, you can see a lot of the different parts of our house and watch our faculty cats running around. Um, so if you are a part of that, I'll throw a couple of these in the living room and you can watch the cats play with them on that screen. That would be really fun. Anyway, Dragon Maker, thank you so much. Again, if you guys want to buy one of those for yourself, it is uh, Dragon M-A-K-R on Etsy. And uh, you will find she also sells these really cool stuffed cats that are awesome. You guys are moving the camera again. This is eventually, the camera's just going to be pointed at the wall, and I am going to be talking to nobody. Let me check this thing. All right, I'm still on the camera. We haven't lost me yet, you guys. Wow. All right, this is super wrapped up. My goodness. Oh, because it is from overseas. Wow. All right. That's fun. Let's see uh, if I can guess how to open this. I can't. So we're just going to start cutting and see what happens. Oh, customs declarations. I've talked about this a few times. The little customs declaration sticker really sort of gives away what's in here. Um, but I noticed since we started Kitten Academy in the mailbag segment, that people fill out those custom declarations in very different ways. Like when I would ship stuff and have to fill out a custom declaration, I would just write something super generic, like toys and uh, or gifts. I, you know, not even what it was, just the word gifts. And I never got in trouble for it, as far as I know. Um, but that's not the way that I guess most people do it. Uh, most people will sort of give a list of exactly what's in the box. That's probably what I ought to start doing, too, huh? Um, oh, my. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is great and horrible. This is one of those things that is wonderful and terrible. All right. I'm excited, though. I'm super excited. Uh, let me start with the letter. Okay. Oh, you've got your address right here on the top. I'm going to try to hide that just in case people can read it. Who knows, though? Maybe people want to write to you. Uh, I guess this took a while to get to us. It's dated um, November 21st. Dear Mr. A, DJ, Faculty Verse, and Kittens, hi. I've been watching the live stream since uh, Ivy's League. Oh, my goodness. Wow, an old school watcher. That is that is a long time now. I have watched kittens and mom cats come and go, falling in love with every bunch and then trying to catch their last wave goodbye. I wish I could tell you who my favorites are, but it changes every time new kittens arrive. However, I was so happy when you and DJ announced that Maggie Moo had decided to become a permanent member of staffing and to continue her studies. I'm not a member of the Patreon community, but I keep telling myself that I will join one of these days. I follow yours and many of the graduates' Twitter accounts. I have introduced Kitten Academy to friends and family and made my mom an avid watcher. Please find this box filled with goodies for human, cat, and dog. I hope you all enjoy them. Uh, let's see. There's also a please do not read on the stream. My goodness. Thank you for saying that. Um, aw. So sweet. Thank you for, for saying please do not read on stream before uh, something sad. I, I appreciate that, but I, I do appreciate uh, that you're doing better. Uh, thank you both very much for all your work on the live stream. I look forward to seeing all human, kitten, cat, or dog in the main kitten room or walking past the door. Much love, Steph. And then there is a list of the box contents, uh, which we will go through together. Steph, 
Uh, before I get into the box, let me just say thank you so much for sending this stuff. It already, it looks like it's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm, I, I want to dig into it. But I just want to tell you how special it is to me to get letters from people now that we don't know have been longtime fans. You know, it's, it's, it's wonderful. You know, I, I, there, I've said this a couple times recently that, you know, we sort of feel like now we know everybody that's a longtime fan. We've known them for a while, but we don't. Not only are there a lot of people that lurk on the chat, but there's a lot of people that sort of just lurk in the sense that they've, they've never written to us, they've never talked to us, um, but have, have been fans for a long time. And it's so special to me to continue to realize that, that you're out there. And um, I'm glad. I'm just I'm really glad that you wrote to us and that, that you have been uh, such a supporter for such a long time. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm really bad at this, but it is it's super special. Thing. Thank you so much. Um, okay, let's see. So first off, we have uh, what it says it is a, uh, for the faculty, it is a cat advent calendar. I have never heard of something like this. That is the coolest thing. It is an advent calendar for cats, and behind each door, there is a catnip tree. Wow. That is the coolest idea. I have never heard of an advent calendar for cats. I cannot wait. I don't even know if DJ has ever had an advent calendar. I don't even know if she knows what one is. I wish she were here for this so I could ask her if she's experienced the advent calendar before. She is going to love having this for the faculty and giving them something every day. This is so sweet. Ah, that is the coolest, coolest thing. My goodness. I don't want to set it down the wrong way or where these guys are going to like jump on it and pop open those doors because I want that to be saved. I want that to be a special treat for DJ. That's so cool. Um, okay, here we have Webox, which is a cat treat brand that we are very familiar with from our UK friends. We cannot get these in the States, um, but they're awesome. We have a, a bag of Yummy Yums. And Webox, which is, for, from my perspective, are the original cat treat stick. They're certainly the first one that we were familiar with and are awesome. So thank you for sending the Webox cat treats. Also, we have Purina Adventuros sticks, buffalo wild flavor for Elsie, I presume. Those look awesome. I'm sure Elsie will appreciate that. Oh, you said two. Wow. We have one that is buffalo flavored and one that is boar flavored. I don't know if Elsie has ever aspired to eat a boar or a buffalo, but uh, boy, is she in for a treat. That sounds completely awesome. Oh, I also see, hang on, let me let me get these out in the right order. You've also layered in a bunch of other Webox. So here we have the chicken and liver, turkey and lamb, uh, more turkey and lamb, uh, also, salmon and trout and duck. Oh, very fancy. Plus, a Wilco brand cat sticks with festive duck and goose. And I, I love the picture on these of the cat wearing the reindeer and the little Christmas outfit. Uh, you guys probably can't see it because there's so many kittens in the way. Let me show you over here. There we go. Make use of that other camera. We also have Webox Licky Licks, which are like the Webox style of churu treats, which we're all familiar with. It says uh, yogurt with livered sausage, yogurt with liver sausage and cat grass, and also chicken yogurt. So those are um, interesting flavors. Oh, here we have a doggy chocolate wolf bar with added vitamins and minerals, delicious and dog safe for dogs. That's pretty awesome. I have not heard of doggy chocolate bars before. And then... At the bottom, we have an iced fruit cake from Tesco. That's <laughs> that's pretty cool. It is the tiniest little fruit cake, and it is iced with a wreath, which is beautiful. That is super, super cute. And a rich fruit Christmas pudding, which will be six months matured on Christmas Day. Wow. I didn't know that maturing the uh, Christmas pudding was a thing. But this sounds awesome. A rich fruit Christmas pudding with cider and rum. This product contains alcohol. Well, I'm in. That sounds fantastic. 
thank you so much for sending all this stuff, Steph. Um, that it's so nice of you. And uh, the cats are going to love all these treats. And I am going to love some of these treats. And Elsie is going to love these treats. And my, I think my favorite thing, though, is the cat advent calendar. I cannot wait to show that to DJ and see what she thinks of it. I think this is going to be super special. Thank you so much. I've got to put this in here carefully so that, like I said, we don't want to pop those little things open before their time. In fact, let me put it this way. Okay. Wow, Steph, uh, thank you so much. And again, I... I know, I know, I don't really know what I'm trying to say, except that it is so special to have you write to us after all this time uh, watching. It, it really means a lot to me. Honestly, it does. Thank you so much. Okay, I don't, I don't know how to deal with these packages anymore. Oh, okay, why are you putting this in the water bowl? Don't do that. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh, oh, we spilled all the water. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. This is a disaster in here. Hang on. Give me one second. Let me get that water cleaned up before it soaks completely into the carpeting. miss you so much tomorrow. I miss you so much. Okay. All right. I think we all know what's in this box, too. Do we? Do we all or just me? I know. It says, hi, Candy, on one side. It says, hello, Candy, on the other side, which is very cute. Dear Kitten Academy, here are blankets for Verse and Prodigy, a.k.a. Blue Butt, <laughs> from, oh no, Lily Cat and Zara, um, but not from Zeta the Beta. No sad. Hashtag no sad. Okay. All right, so here is Verse's hand-knit blanket from Lily Cat. That's so cute. That's beautiful. Here we go. I love the salmon color. That's just, that's a great color. Oh, did I get your tail there? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Poison. I'm sorry. I got your tail a little bit. Okay. Prodigy is, uh, if, you're, if you haven't been watching for a, the entire class, you may not know why Prodigy is blue butt. Um, but that's that's how we kept track of him before he was big enough to wear a collar. We put food coloring on his butt that was blue. So, yeah, blue butt. So this is his. Oh, wow, this is beautiful, too. Look at these rich colors. That's gorgeous. Prodigy, what do you think, buddy? What do you think? You're right there. Like it, maybe, a little bit? That's fine. Uh, Lily Cat, thank you so much for sending these. And I see there's another box here that looks suspiciously as though it is from you. So let's move to that right away before we go on. So this is, this is versus Prodigy. Let me write that on their box. Oh, thanks for your help, Rudy. Verse and Prodigy. Thanks for your help, boys. 
All right. So then we have another box here, and this is also from you, Lily Cat. Mr. A and DJ, hopefully you have three boxes for me in this mailbag. Yeah, we do. I said the first before Thanksgiving. I think that one took a trip to Carroll Stream before heading back up to Fox Lake. The second was sent for the skipped mailbag. Hope you are better. <coughs> Excuse me. This one sent on 12-4, so we'll see if it makes the 10-mile journey by Saturday. Just didn't want you to think I cranked out four blankets in a week from Lily Cat plus Zara. FYI, Stu's blanket is being sent directly to his new home. So, let's see. This is books, bookworms, and books is, oh, look at that. This is sort of mixed in there. I love these colors, too. You do such a great job with all these blankets. They're all so beautiful. I know everybody that gets one really appreciates it. I just, I love every single one of them. They're all unique and they're all gorgeous. This one is great. Wow. I say that for all of them. I don't, I don't know how to give each one the proper appreciation because they're all so fantastic. These browns and these reds together are just wonderful. Okay. Let me put this right back in here until I get to the endowments later today. And let me write book on it. Book. Book. Okay. Put that right there. Lily Cat, thank you again. Those are wonderful. I just, I love being able to give people the blankets that you've sent. Because, like I said, they're just they're all so, it's, it's just, how wonderful must it be to adopt a kitten academy kitten? And no, you know when you do, there's so many people out there that are in love with your cat. But then when you have a physical artifact of that love, you have, you have this blanket that somebody handmade for your kitten. It's, I, I can't imagine how special that is. It's just, it's just wonderful. So thank you so much, Lily Cat. I love being able to give those to people. Um, okay, let's see what's next here. We have another package from overseas. Okay. Oh, okay. There are some notes. I think there's multiple notes in this one. It says, two cats and kittens, and this one says to Mr. A and DJ. Well, okay, let's start with the cats and kittens. Stop trying to steal my knife, Stu. I don't know what you have in mind, but it can't be good. It says, two special cats and dog wishing you a meowy Christmas. And then on the inside, oh, oh, wow, there's a very generous donation here. It says, to all the cats and kittens and dog and a perfect new year with love and snuggles, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Sue and the cats in London and just a little something to help. Wow, that's not a little something to help, Sue. That is a big something to help. Thank you so much for sending that. We will make, of course, absolutely sure that that donation uh, it goes to the cats and kittens, as all the donations to Kitten Academy do. And then we have another one here that says, Seasons greetings to both of you, sending you festive wishes this Christmas. And this says, aw. <laughs> this one says, enjoy spending the holiday season cozy and warm together. Happy Christmas. Um, and then, happy Christmas and have a great new year from Sue and Cheryl, Gracie, Musha, and Jabe. Jabe? Dear Mr. A and DJ, we thought you would like this. It's a British 50 pence coin from the Beatrix Potter collection. This one is a Tom kitten. Hope you like it. And thank you and happy Christmas to you both and the kittens, cats, and dogs. And also everyone around the world who watch you every day like we. 
Sue and Cheryl from London. Thank you, Sue and Cheryl from London. And look at that. It is a little kitten. It says Tom Kitten. Wow. Why don't we have cool money like that in the United States? That's so cute. I'm, I'm excited to show that to DJ, too. She's going to love it. Thank you so much, Sue and Cheryl. And you've also sent a stocking full of dreamies. It says to all the cats and kittens from Sue and Cheryl. Look at that. All the flavors of dreamies. If you hear some growling, it's because one of the kittens has taken that fur ball, looks like bookworm, and is guarding it. Here we have women's socks for DJ that have Taco Cat on them. And they, there's a bunch of little taco cats on it, and it's glittery too. That's so cool. DJ's gonna love those. As we all know, taco cat is a thing because taco cat spelled backwards is taco cat. So we like that. Here we have a pair of Grinch socks that say, This is me being jolly with a grumpy face Grinch. I like that a lot too. And there is more, one more thing. Mini hearts, mini heart treats rich in chicken, clearly for Elsie. Thank you so much, Sue and Cheryl. This is really sweet of you to send this stuff. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. Um, I just, it's wonderful. And that, that donation that you sent is far too generous. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, it just occurred to me the donation you sent was in actual American cash, isn't it? I have to look again. You must have had to go somewhere to get that. Yes, it is. Thank you. you not only did you send us, you know, a large donation, but you obviously had to go out of your way just to make that happen. How sweet of you. That's just wonderful. Thank you very much. Those are very great. And I'll tell you, Everybody here loves Dreamies, but nobody more than Ari, so he is just really going to appreciate that stocking. I know it. Okay, um, let's see. How, how do we proceed here? This is getting to be um, a mess to manage. Let's see what I can do. Hang on. Excuse me. Okay. Willy cat. All right. Let's do this. Here we have, uh, I think, our only drop shipment this time. That, wow. That's unusual. Where did I? Okay. There's the knife. Good. Got it. Oh, my goodness. All right. Yeah, I think somebody warned me about this box. Oh, my. Oh, no. Is there a note? Please be a note. Oh, there is a note all the way at the bottom. It says, Hi, Mr. A, DJ, and Kitten Academy. Thank you so much for the constant love and care you give each and every kitten. These bags are for Verse and her kittens for their endowments. Much love and gratitude, Pepper, Simba, and Barbara. Well, thank you guys so much. This must have cost a fortune. These are fantastic. So they're all the same uh, giant cat gift bags that have a whole bunch of stuff in them. Let's open just one so that we can check out what's in it together, all right? So uh, there's a, a wand toy. It's all wrapped around itself, but the, the leopard print here comes out into a, a stringer. I can see that. I don't want to unwrap it because I'd never get it back. Uh, there is a bag. I guess, to keep your stuff in. That's, that's nice of them. Okay. There is a tunnel with a dangly toy on the end. That'll be great. There is a realistic printed fish, presumably with some catnip in there. Uh, there is a, a bag, excuse me, a bag of toys, which includes all the standard stuff I especially like the little pith balls, these little rainbow pith balls. Those are great. And uh, this metal cage with the mouse in it is something that lasts forever and is fantastic. So that's, that's a great little collection there. And then the best maybe for last is four little sticks of silver vine, actual silver vine sticks 
this stuff is like catnip on catnip. Um, it is crazy, and the faculty loves it. And they love it. Not only is it, is it like catnip for them, but it's also like a natural stick, and they like that anyway. You know, even if it wasn't, if it was just a plain old stick, they would like it. But as being silver vine, that's a huge win. I see Ace has already claimed this tunnel. Ace, you got to give it back, buddy. You'll get your own. He's trying to keep wise away from it. Ace, Ace, come on, pal. Come on. You going to give me that? No? This reminds me of a kitten that DJ and I used to have um, named uh, um, Panda. Named Panda. It was a, obviously a tuxie. And we had a, a giant cat a tunnel. <laughs> Ace, don't hit me. Don't you hit me. Come on. You know better. Come on. Um, we had a, a giant sized cat tunnel that had a toy hanging from the cat tunnel like that. And she was the smallest kitten, the smallest cat. She was a full grown cat. She was the smallest cat we ever had. She was just over four pounds full grown. Yet she would take that toy from the tunnel and carry, drag the tunnel, the whole tunnel. She would drag this whole cat tunnel all over the house. I mean, up and down the stairs. That was her favorite toy. And it was almost like she never noticed that there was a tunnel attached to it that she was dragging around everywhere. It was, it was hilarious, especially because she was so tiny herself. It just, it really made it comical. So I bet you're going to be doing that, aren't you, Ace, with the one in your endowment? I bet you are. Wow, uh, Barbara and crew, thank you so much. That is just amazingly generous. You've got an entire box, nine of those here. That's, that's fantastic. That's really fantastic. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, one last box, two? Is there one? There's one that fell over here. Let me get that. Oh, this is also from Dragon Maker. Okay, let's see what this is. What? <laughs> Look at these. They're little catnip filled stocking things with reindeer on them. How, how cute. Okay, it says, okay to read on stream. And it says, from Karen. Uh, Dear Mr. A, thanks for all you do. Thought these would be cute for the faculty for an early present from Santa Claus. Meowy Kissmas, love, Karen. That is so sweet, Karen. Thank you so much. Wow. And I assume then there's one of these for each of the faculty. So I can put these out in the living room instead of the Kitten Academy logo like I was talking about. Let's see. We have three, four, five, six, seven. You even included one for Smokey, who I know will really appreciate it. These are super cute. I did not know that Dragon Maker was making a little Christmas themed thing. That's really, really adorable. Karen, thank you so much for having Dragon Maker send these to us. I can smell that catnip, by the way. Ooh, man, that's strong. Uh, Dragon Maker uses the Yao brand catnip, which we have determined through extensive testing is the finest catnip. So you know that uh, that's some really powerful stuff right there. Thank you, Karen. Thank you so much. I can't wait to give those to the faculty. We will do that. Like I said, if you are on our Patreon and therefore you are on our Discord, uh, you can actually watch some of that in, on the living room camera. Book is still defending that real fur ball and growling. I don't know how well you can hear that, but I keep hearing little growls coming from over in that direction. All right, Stu, did you finally make off with my knife, Stu? What did I say? You better not be causing any trouble. Yes, you did. I see we are trying to hide it. My knife. I don't know what you're up to. Can't be good. Okay. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, wow. That is amazing. This is amazing. Okay, hang on. There's a card. I got to read the card first. Wow. Wow. You guys are not going to believe this. Oh, oh, this card is great, too. Check that out. Let's see if I can get this to... It is a little three-dimensional pop-up card. Open along a little bit. That is a, a little Christmas scene. There we go. Now I got it. 
That is so cool. It's got a little cat in a chair and a whole Christmas tree and everything all around the Christmas tree. Lots and lots and lots of cats. That is the coolest thing. It says, just a few holiday things for the verselets from Pat, uh, Pat M.M. on Discord. We all know Pat M.M. Pat, you have really outdone yourself. You, you've definitely sent us enough stuff um, over time. And what I see here is amazing, Pat. Just, just amazing. Wow. Um, huh. You sent an individual stocking for each kitten. This one says wise right on it. And, uh, oh, something, did this fall out or is this for DJ? Oh, there's a note. Okay. It says, the tiny thing, don't be fooled by the recycled bag. It's a little hard to see them, but it is a hand-carved feline family. This must be for DJ. And... Because DJ loves little, little tiny things. Oh my gosh, this is the tiniest thing. That is so cool. It, it looks like a little tiny feline nativity to me. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be, but it looks like the two cats in the back have a halos. You guys are never going to be able to see that. It is so tiny, and it's it's a little hut, and inside the hut are uh, like four cats gathered around one tiny cat on the floor, which is why I say nativity, because there's two standing up in the back that have halos, uh, and then there's two little ones in the front and the one in the middle. That's that's amazing, Pat. That's really cool. Where did you ever find something like that? Wow, I, I don't know where to put this, so I'm going to put it in the mailbag uh, box for now so it stays safe and so the DJ gets to see that. It's so tiny, I mean, you can easily lose that. Okay, so there's, like I said, there's a, there's a bag here for each kitten or group of kittens. This one is for Rudy and Poise because we know they're going together. There's one here for Ace. Um, uh, oh! Oh my gosh, Pat, you're so thoughtful. Hang on, I'll get to it. Uh, there's one here for Stu. There's one here for Flair. There's one here for Verse and Book. Um, they may not end up going together, but here's hoping. Uh, and there's one here for Prodigy. Uh, I assume they're all pretty much the same. I almost don't want to unpack any of them because they're, they're, I can see you put some work into getting all this stuff in here, and I'm never going to get it back in the same way. But I can tell you there is a, a, an electronic toy with a twirly feather on it. There's a flat mouse. There's a yow catnip banana. And there's a whole bunch of other toys going on down here in the sock. Um, I can see some of the other ones. This one's got a candy cane instead of a banana. It's got a pack of toys in it that include laser pointers. Rechargeable. Oh, I like those. Those are the rechargeable USB laser pointers. Those are the best kind because you can just plug them in when you're not using them. I know with the, the non-rechargeable laser pointers, it, like, it runs out of batteries, and then you basically throw it away because you never get those little watch batteries to replace it. But the ones that plug in USB, like you put in there, those are great. This is amazing. It's just phenomenal. But on top of that, you've included a bunch of other stuff, like that tiny steam that must be for DJ. <laughs> you've included... Hot Sauce Challenge. Whoa. Book of Pleasure and Pain contains 12 bottles of hot sauce. A challenge for Mr. A. Wow. <laughs> I love that you censored it. <laughs> Some of the names of these are, uh, <laughs> you censored every single bottle. <laughs> Some of the names of these involve um, expletives. But you have gone through and made it all... Uh, nice for the stream because here it says it says candy butt butt kicking whoop butt kick your butt uh, and each one of those butts is on a little tiny piece of blue tape that you've written it in plus you opened this up and did every single bottle it says butt kicking kick your butt on every single bottle of these things that's <laughs> that is so great I love it that is so fantastic. Thank you. 
I do. I love hot sauce. I love spicy things. I'm really going to enjoy those. Uh, but that's just hilarious. Now, I don't know how, did I mention this? Did, or did you just notice that we started using the notes again? Because we, this is the best way for us to cover up those addresses. I love this. And we ran out, and I didn't get more because I keep forgetting. Um, and here you set three rolls of the adhesive roll post-it notes to cover up the addresses. These are fantastic. That is, I just, I don't know how you thought of it. Maybe you just realized that I've been using the sticky notes. So thoughtful. Plus, you sent more. Here we have a uh, Tomlin pill masker paste for cats. I see. So this is like um, we use, um, what are they called? Pill pockets. We've used pill pockets quite a few times. And this is like a paste that probably does the same thing. It's great. And uh, they put a picture of Jackson Galaxy on the tin. That's cute. I just I want to see if it's a paste. It must be super smelly, right? want to know. Oh, it's, it's sealed. I'm going to unseal it. Come on. Oh, it, it is super smelly, but it smells almost good. It's kind of bacony. Hmm. That's great. Okay, thank you for that. I bet that'll be easier to use than the pill pockets. Uh, here we have a bunch of homemade catnip toys, I think. Yes, these are very cute little catnip bags. Oh, hats! These are hats! Oh no, these are hats! Oh, this is going to be too much. Not just hats. Uh, let's see, can I figure this out? This is a, a, a whole outfit. is a hat and a little skirt uh, with the American flag on this one. So let's see. So this one has a... I see. This one has like a like a stand up uh, like a like a top hat kind of a thing with ears cut out for the cats, and then a matching little uh, outfit for the cat to wear. I'm, I'm holding it for this camera. I don't know why you guys can see it from either one. And then this is uh, another little outfit that has a oh, it's got like an apron, it's the cutest little apron with a matching hat. Wow. And then we have. Uh, let's see, another sort of top hat style with the, the outfit, the same, same sort of pattern, but with a sort of a, I don't know, it looks like clover to me, clover pattern on it. Actually, I think what we've got here is a set of holidays. We've got the 4th of July outfit. We have the uh, St. Patrick's Day outfit. Here we have like a Thanksgiving outfit. And then finally, uh, we have what, what it's got a witch hat and uh, some sort of a little cape. Yes, that is a cape. We've got a witch hat and a cape, which would be our Halloween outfit. So somebody wants me to do more photo shoots with the cats, I think. And uh, these are great. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. I have a box. Actually, I left the box in here since the last photo shoot that contains all of our cat costumes. So I can add this directly to that box. Pat, thank you so much. Uh, there is something else. Oh, there's there's something else in here. Oh my. Oh, ah, ah. Maybe, maybe I misinterpreted what's going on here. This looks like a cat that we can dress up for each season. Is that what's going on? And then those are different outfits for this cat. Look at that. That is so pretty. He's he's I want to boop his nose. He is so cute. I don't know how well you can see him, but he's great. He's currently wearing the Christmas outfit. And then he's wrapped in what appears to be crate covers for your cat carrier. Pat, this whole box is amazing. Yes, so we use these when we take the cats to the vet. It is a, it's a cover that goes over your cat carrier. Uh, these are super awesome, and there's two of those. Wow. Pat, that's, that's so cool. Thank you so much. I think that uh, we can make these costumes double. Uh, we can wear use it on this cat and we can use it on our own cats, but I love this. Thank you for the costumes. Uh, thank you for the cat. This matches, uh, we've, got a, we've got a cat in our bathroom, in the guest bathroom that dispenses tissue paper from its butt. Uh, 
and this guy actually matches the style of that quite a bit. Maybe they can go together. Anyway, that's so cool. Pat, I, I can't believe it. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, but that's this is this is so fantastic and generous. Uh, speaking of fantastic, I got to take a picture of a little flare here who has fallen asleep watching the mailbag from this camera's perspective. Let me share that on the Discord real quick. Wow, Pat, that is fantastic. All of it. That's just it's just amazing. All of you, everybody was so generous and uh I just, I never know what to say. I'm just touched by the generosity and the thoughtfulness of all of you, uh, Kitten Academy uh, viewers and, and friends, uh, all of our friends that, that, I don't know. It's wonderful. Thank you so much, Pat. I'm going to try to pack this stuff back in here for now. And then uh, maybe later today I'll find time to start to get this stuff organized. I can't wait for DJ to see that cat. I can't wait for her to see her little tiny carved kittens. Uh, kitten cat nativity, I guess it is. Maybe that's what I'm calling it. I'm sticking with that story. And now she's got this wonderful statue to pack up. I mean, to decorate for each season. So awesome. <laughs> so cool. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say. Uh, we made it through. I think that, I think that was everything. So uh, I am going to start taking these boxes out of here. Uh, we'll keep the video rolling, so this will still be part of what we watch tomorrow, and part of the permanent record. And then uh, once I've got everything put away, I'll come back in and say thanks again and uh, goodbye. So let me get rolling on that. Wow. And uh, boy, thanks again, though, now. I just That's so wonderful. All of it is wonderful. Pat, that is amazing. I, you've really outdone yourself. Oh, this one's hard to pull. Um, wow, I actually got that to work. A little, little impressed with myself right now. Oh, no, I left out the hot sauce. What a shame. I may just have to try some. Okay. Thanks again, everybody. I just, wow. Okay. All right. Let me get some of this stuff out of here. I left this out too. That's fine. Whatever. Um, okay. Yes. I might want to leave those post-its in here. <laughs> I'll know where to find them later. The rest of this can go.
Hey, Agro, how are those kids treating you? You don't care. You just want the food, right? I'm going to make sure you don't get it. Hi, Custard. Hi, Acro. <clears throat> Hi, Flair. Where are you going? You're literally on the fence about leaving this room, huh? I can't believe that out of this giant class of super advanced kittens, Flair is the only one that's figured out how to go over that tiny little fence. With every other class, they're pretty much instantly over it.
Pittsburgh. I hope you don't mind all these other people in here. All these other kittens in your room. Just your kittens. Doesn't seem to mind. Good. Hey, I'm glad she's not hissing at him either. She was kind of angry at him last night, but here she is licking him. Good. She must have just been having an off night. That's reassuring. Acro, I do think you should go down there. Come on. Let's go. I heard that. Was that you again? Really? She likes that little cannon toy, huh? That's fine. It'll be all hers. All right. Well, thanks again to everybody. That was a spectacular mailbag. I just I can't believe how wonderful and generous so many of you are. It's it's really fantastic. So thank you. I'm going to take a quick look at the chat to see if I'm missing anything important. Well, I don't see anything, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do is uh, I will go back over the chat that way. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday, when we replay this and I have to watch it with everybody, uh, I will spill all the best jokes and comments and post them myself in the YouTube chat before anybody else can. 
that's what I planned. Uh, so, anyway, oh, oh, I do see one thing that I forgot. Um, Rudy and Poise's adopter sent uh, a package that I put in the closet that had a couple of other things in it. Oh, nice job, me. I knew I shouldn't have filled that water bowl so much. Wow. <clears throat> and all the kittens going in the closet, mom kissing. Now this is the party. Why don't you talk about it out here? Oh, my. So it's worth mentioning uh, that the adopter of Rudy and Floyd has these little cat carriers that are next to me. Um, and they're really, really cute. And also everything else here which I think I was supposed to take a look at on the mailbag with you. I think there was some other stuff, wasn't there? Nice to guess. There is. So the note says, Hi, Rudy and Poise and all the well-versed crew. Enclosed are your brand new FAA-approved carriers so you'll both be safe and comfy for your big trip. And that's, uh, that's them there. We put them out in the room already. Mr. A and DJ will be helping you adjust to these fancy carriers, so don't be scared. I've also included two custom-made, super soft, minky blankets made by two ladies who already love you both so much the blankets smell like your new home. I can't wait to meet you and start our adventures together. See you soon. XO, your new mommy, Laura, who is Kitten23 on the Discord chat. And it says, P.S., please share these catnip christmas light toys with your brothers and sisters. You there? Those are super, super cute little cabinet toys. And I will add those to the endowment. And I will get all these kids out of the closet now. Come on. Come on, you guys. Come on. This is ridiculous. You're being ridiculous. You are all being ridiculous. No, no. I'm not going to get into a DJ situation here. Yeah, I handled that much more quickly than some DJs that I know. All right. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm keeping this box here so that um, in case anybody, in case Kitten 23 ends up wanting it or the contents that are still in here, including their little labels for the uh, for the carriers. No, no, no. Come on, don't go right back in there just because I had to open it again for half a second. No, no, I'm staying ahead of this. There we go. Okay. That's it. Okay. Uh, with that, I'm going to end the archive. Um, let me just say, if you are watching this, it is Saturday or any other day. Um, you don't have to stop watching kittens. You can just look for the regular Kitten Academy live stream to see what they're doing right now. I hope I enjoyed watching this with you on Saturday. Uh, I guess we'll find out then. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>